The Runner Xenomorph, also known as the Dog Alien, the Ox Alien, the Dragon, or the Beast, was a Xenomorph type birthed from a quadrupedal animal being used as a host by a Facehugger. As Xenomorphs inherit traits from their hosts, the Runners differ in appearance to the more commonly seen drones and warriors by having a quadrupedal stance, primarily standing on all fours with digitigrade legs. Their outer skin is a reddish brown colour and they lack the dorsal tubes found on human born xenomorphs. This is thought to be to allow their head a wider range of movement as their head is angled back further than those of other xenomorph strains. Due to their composition, they are much faster and agile when compared to drones and warriors, able to traverse walls and ceilings even faster and more efficiently. However, as a trade-off, they are not quite as strong or as armoured as other previously mentioned Xenomorph types. They are approximately 2 metres in length, possess the same domed head as drones, and have claws, a tail barb, and an inner jaw for weaponry. When they emerge from their host, instead of being a chestburster, they are instead a fully formed, miniaturised version of themselves. This could either be a natural occurrence of this type, or possibly due to an ox having thicker skin than a human and being a lot more heavily built, and therefore the alien wasn't strong enough to escape until it had reached their larger size. This is backed up by the fact that its host killed over and died before the alien emerged from it. After Ripley, Hicks, Bishop and Newt escaped from LV-426 and defeated the stowaway Xenomorph Queen, it turned out that a royal facehugger had made its way onto the Nostromo undetected and it made its way into their cryotubes where it attached itself to Ripley while she was in hypersleep. The facehugger's acidic blood then triggered the Sulaco's fire detection system and the cryotubes were jettisoned, landing on Fiorina 161 or Fury 161, a planet home to a Class C work correctional unit. Being a royal facehugger, it contained not one, but two embryos, one pure strain embryo, which it had implanted into Ripley, and a standard hybrid strain embryo. Once it had finished impregnating Ripley with its queen embryo, instead of dying, it detached and continued on to find a second host. Once it had done this, the runner xenomorph emerged and quickly grew to full size and started to wipe out almost all the prisoners and staff except for Ripley, sensing that she had a queen inside her. By using themselves as bait, the remaining survivors managed to trap the xenomorph, but it was later set free by a delusional inmate and it escaped. Coming up with another way to try and kill the alien, they lured it into a mould and poured molten lead onto it. However, remarkably it survived this and jumped out of the lead, but then Ripley activated the overhead sprinkler system, drenching it in cold water, causing it to explode due to thermal shock. So that was the Runner Alien from Alien 3. This video was part of a request and he also asked me to cover the Deacon from Prometheus which I'll be doing soon. While I wasn't really a fan of the movie, I do like the design of this alien as it was one of the first instances where we were shown Xenomorphs taking on traits from their hosts. One of my favourite things to feature the runners was the video game AVP Extinction, where you made them by using Kerns and Kriltix as hosts. I'd love it if they would make another RTS AVP game like that, I can just imagine how cool that could be. A bit of trivia that I thought was pretty cool was that the alien from Alien 3 is actually the deadliest single xenomorph from any of the movies, with by far the most kills, killing 15 people plus its host in the theatrical cut and 17 in the director's cut plus its host. And another piece of trivia that I found funny was that originally the plan was actually to use a whippet dressed up in a costume to portray the alien when it first emerges. The special effects team themselves said that after testing this that it was laughably bad and then they went on to use a mix of a man in a suit, a steel rod puppet and CGI for the alien instead. 
So that's going to do it for this video. Why not let me know in the comments what you liked and disliked about Alien 3 and the Runner Alien. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.